Oh shoot, that's our cue. Billy, Billy, get the chicken. Get the chicken, we gotta assault these people. Billy and Thomas, the two fairies. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we continued to wander around the entirety of the globe, but not doing really much of anything. <laughs> oh, the nature of a blind let's play. This episode, we find ourselves at the, uh, what is it, the Aokiji? Admiral Aokiji? Islands? What, what is it called? Let's enter again. Apogee Islands. Let's see what's going on here. I don't know what brings you to Apogee, but you'd better not be planning anything stupid like gambling or eating the leaves off of these trees. They're poisonous. Okay. What's up with you? Welcome. You got it. What do you have for artifacts, huh? Oh, uh, ooh, the dragon axe. That sounds scrumptious. Everything else looks relatively innocuous. Uh, angelic onk, though, perhaps. A potion is a, uh, an artifact? A one-time use artifact? That's kind of interesting. Huh. Okay, well, let's, uh... Can the angelic onk be used for anything? It is garbage. Not for us, but the dragon axe? Hmm? Oh, my. So do I want to give it... I'm, I'm going to give it to Piers. I really want to give it to Felix and make him, you know, even more powerful than he is, but... If I give it to Piers, then they'll both be roughly the same. 226 attack for Piers, 228 for Felix. And look at that. A game ticket for Sheba. Goodness me. How many do we have now? 28, counting this one. <laughs> so many. So many. Uh, great sword, huh? A great sword would be an improvement over the disc axe by 16 points. Huh. I'm actually curious about that. Armored shell would be good for both Felix and Piers. Let's do that. Uh... Wait a minute. What, what is the Ixian Mail? I, I was about to sell the Ixian Mail. What is that? It boosts something, doesn't it? Wind and water resistance. And then Piers just has chain mail. So let's give Piers the Ix or the uh, the armored shell. I'm going to leave Ixian with Felix. It's only a boost of five, but at what cost, right? Uh, Piers the tank continues to tank. Very good. Don't you just love to see it? See if we can get 30 total tickets here uh, from anything. None of the helms, probably not, right? Because he wearing the Thorn Crown, he wearing the Viking, and then uh, Jenna and Shiva both have better circlets than that, right? Yeah. Well, the Clarity circlet's actually worse, but it boosts wind power, and only for a, a small difference in defensive capability. So I'll leave that on there. Uh, anyways, can you guys tell me like something about the Aqua Rock? It's very beautiful here. Very, very tropical. Mm, splash in the water. Very nice. But I need plot progression. Jiminy Christmas, there's a lot of people in here. Hey, mister, do you know all the kids are calling you their hero? Why? We like strangers! Okay, very good. I'm not allowed to go into the ocean. I peed in there, and it hurt! The currents around Apogee are just too strong to let children swim on their own. They're too strong for a lot of the adults, too. They can just wash a person away in their urine, too. I absolutely refuse to let my son swim in the ocean until he is an adult fish. Very good. Well, let's uh, continue around. Can we hop this? We can't hop this. Perfect. Ooh, look at that thing. If there's nothing on Aqua Island, then what are those Maui guarding anyway? Yeah, so uh, uh, Aqua Rock, there were some statues that were guarding it. And I'm curious about this statue, too. We didn't investigate it. What is this? Can we mind read it? <laughs> can we read the mind of the stone? No, can we read your mind? Oh, I can, sorry, I don't, I don't mean to start shoving you uh, out of nowhere like that. Mind read. Aqua Rock must be the secret hidden on Aqua Island. One day I'll have, a, have to scale its peak. Fascinating. It looks like a drop of water, to be honest with you. Should we make it rain on it? Maybe we should, or freeze it, ha ha, the frozen stone. Does nothing. We tried all sorts of synergy too yesterday and it didn't do anything either. Uh, that is colorful though. Oh, I was say it's colored, which means something happens. It looks like we've uh, they summoned a torrential downpour. Beautiful Skittles line the way from the town back up to Aqua Rock, where the statues that were guarding the way retreat. Therefore, looking like we gain access to whatever's to the left there. What just happened? That rock couldn't have heard my wishes. That's impossible. It's gotta be. Well, okay, then maybe we should try putting some more of our wishes into the rock. You wish in one hand and 
secrete liquid in the other, and we'll see which fall fills up quicker. Have you any idea what it's like living on the edge of the world? One wrong step, and down you go. Well, I mean, you guys are kind of, like, far removed from it, aren't you? <laughs> You're not stepping across the ocean chasm, are you? Give me a Christmas. Yeah, the only aqua stone is supposed to be the key to getting an aqua island. Yeah, I think I, I think I cracked the key, supposedly. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't sail out to the eastern edge of the sea. That's where the world ends. No one knows where the falls go, but you won't come back. Okay, well, let's go to the east here. Looks like the, the town continues on. Into, well, not really. This is not town-like, in fact, at all. Perhaps there will be secrets, treasure, a jenny. God friggin' hope so. Oh, can we just jump? No. <laughs> Do it! Tempt fate! Why not? Oh, there is a gin. A Jupiter, which we don't... I mean, friggin' hey, we're gonna have two with five, and poor Felix is still with three. I don't know how we would even hope to get down there. How? How, how, how do that? We cast reveal? Is there something that, that is hidden here? No. Hmm. Fascinating. So we do have... We do have this. Cyclone. Scatter weeds. Do cyclone on the weeds right here. Oh. Got a bramble seed. What? So that's how that works. What is a bramble seed? Cause damage with thorns. Let's... Let's scatter some more weeds. Why the heck not? That's only two PP. Pee -pee. And it did more than just the one we were standing on. It did the few in the surrounding area. Just keep scattering these. Is this something... The item that we get, is that something that's always there, or is there some sort of RNG at play? You see what I'm saying? Like, very interesting to think about. Uh, yeah, mind read the wall. I'm sure it has a lot of things to say. Reveal. That's what I was going for. Unfortunately, that did nothing for us either. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. I feel like maybe we have to come out of the waterfall or something. That's the only thing that would make sense to me. But I don't know how we would even hope to, to get there. Poke around over here some more. We go down this way? We can- we can get down into the water. Oh, no, we can't! There's the rocks! My greatest nemesis! I can't handle rocks! I can slay demons and Satan himself, but I can't jump over a six-inch piece of stone! It's impossible. Oh, well. Our lack of athleticism aside, we do have something for us to do. So we may as well go back over to Aqua Rock and investigate it. I can I squeeze? Th oh, come on now! We're gonna get stuck like that boat in friggin' Europe. Uh, or was it was it was it the Middle East? I don't remember. Either which way, it was thousands of miles away, and it was stuck, and we were almost stuck too. What I was going to say though, it feels good to feel like we're actually doing something. Granted, I am assuming, of course, and going out on a limb here and saying that us sprinkling our juices on that stone and moving the Maui statues was paving the way for something significant. I don't know that that's the case. We may get up here and find that the Maui statues were guarding a giant friggin' tortilla, and we can do nothing with it because we don't have the special tortilla synergy or whatever. But, in lieu of that, we know that we can at least progress slightly further than we did here yesterday, which to me is exciting. Alright, we have yet to divulge any sort of information as far as uh, progress goes in any of the areas that we've been since we took to the sea. <laughs> and we took to the sea, now at this point, days ago. Days, literal days, not figurative, metaphorical, literal. More statues. Do we do stuff with you? Do we gotta, like, juice your head? We'll get you the, the, the liquids? Doesn't seem like it's doing anything. I don't... Okay, I mean, it's allowing us to continue. Something is throbbing in the water. Felix's party was caught by surprise by the giant friggin' chicken. How is that gonna catch you by surprise? You see that thing? You'd see that rock from like a mile away? All right, you would smell it too. Uh, yours is pretty strong, so I'm gonna have him go after the big demon. Uh, wind slash, oh. Oh, you guys... You guys got the capabilities, don't you? Very right, nice job, Jenna. And, oh, Felix and Piers incapable of quelling the giant chicken. Sleep? No, this is not a time to sleep. We're in a puddle of friggin' water. Who can fall asleep in that? Apology, oh, Willica, we felled rock and 582 experience points, nearly as many coins, and a nut in a vial. Those dudes were friggin' loaded. Feeling aura. Thank you. 
You see that thing? Are those fish? I guess they are. We... The waterfalls are starting and stopping. I don't know what that's about. That's kind of strange. Whoa! More of you guys. Uh, we will send... Who are the two strongest? I think it's Felix and Jenna. And then we'll send Sheba and Piers off to the left. Piers isn't far behind Felix, but I think... Gosh darn it. Well, at least we got one hit on the ferry. <laughs> uh, don't put me to sleep, you say... Oh, don't you do it. So you'll make us all take a nap? Mm -mm. That's rude. Piers leveled up to 23. Finally, he catches the rest of the party. So this is going to stop right here, and I guess this will allow us to go through. If we were to go to the right, it wouldn't work, I don't think. Because that'll blow us down. I'm not going to attempt it. I'm just going to go up here where we could go left or right. There's nothing to the left. Possibly something to the right. Uh, nope. Jack diddly done this to the right. Uh, I'm going against my... Oh, gosh darn it. I tried. I tried. I tried. That was too much. Okay, we got to just take what we can get. All right, and we can... We can squeeze on over these little gaps, but climbing up a four-tier thing is difficult. Um, does it matter which side we go on? It doesn't look like it does. We could probably just walk to either side, but I'm going to go left, and then we got to move this. And what, do we want to block with it, or do we want to block the other one? We'll block the other one, how about? Because it doesn't... This one. This one's easy to bypass. Whereas the other one, you have to, to move across, like, four space tiles in order to get beyond it. This one, you only have to move past one. So this one will always be easier to, to traverse. And what's more, the other one leads somewhere else entirely. Oh, come on, you friggin' Chichamongus. You big brown burrito. Let's go. Come on. Burritos don't stand up tall. Burritos cannot be erect. Burritos are meant to be horizontal. Okay? You are the vertical burrito. I'm gonna put you in your place. Right up here, next to this red dude's face. All right. Vertical burritos, red faces. It's a match made in heaven. Up we go. Oh, does the map change? Please don't tell me. Please, please. Okay, thank God. I say please. <laughs> I was worried that our burrito would have burrito-sized away. Thank you for the quick travel down here. And interesting enough, too, we haven't had a random encounter once we reached these foothills. Fascinating. Should I even try to go that way? Probably not. I don't think that that would work out well for me. We'd probably go down the thing, though. You see that? And of course, right as I say it, we don't have any random encounters. They're like, hey, what? Oh, shoot, that's our cue. Billy, Billy, get the chicken. Get the chicken. We got to assault these people. Billy and Thomas, the two fairies, are very good friends with the chicken. They use the chicken to assault adventurers, and I hate it. We'll eat them all. Good night, sweet. Prince. Fairy. The Fairy Prince. Thomas? There we go. Thank you. 582 experience points levels up Felix to 24. A lot of coins and a nut once more. Okay, so we can continue on that way, but I want to get this chest. So I need to get, like, over to the right. Yeah! Haha! -ha, keep going to the right. Check the chest. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, really? A freaking nut? Who locks up a nut right here? Why would you do such a thing? Why would you scroodle my noodle like that? What a waste of my time and yours. Whatever. I guess it's fine. We can continue on upwards this way. Getting ever closer to something, I guess. To, to this guy, to the Virago. Who is Virago? Virago Mortensen? Oh, he played Aragorn. Very, very big fan of your work as well. Time to hop, skip, and shoot. Is it a bit of a job, job for reveal, perhaps? No? Oh, what ho? What do we do here? Oh. oh, no, I do not understand. Something has been finagulated in a way that can we just get it? Oh, wow. We did even worse that time. What happens if we fall here? We go this way. Ah, that, I mean, that could be something, but no. Go down here. Look at this guy. This guy looks thirsty. I bet we gotta fill his face up with liquid. Huh? Huh? Yes. He glows blue with happiness. And maybe I shouldn't have done that because now I'm gonna have to cross his stream. 
that might be an issue. I don't know where he'll put me. But we'll just try and fight up and to the right as much as possible, and hopefully we can just cross over it. Ugh, we did. Which is good, but maybe we want to go down. <laughs> and now we're here. What is this? Oh, look at that thing. That thing's about to topple over to the left. Can't get over there, though. Man of War. A literal jellyfish. Straight out of the Pacific Ocean. Good to see you. Hop that. We cannot hop that. How sick. Uh, oh, hey! Hey, you! I know what you like. You like water! I'll make it rain on these stones, huh? Yeah, does this raise the water level, or what do we do here? It just makes it rain. I make it rain on you, you make it rain on everything else. I guess that is helpful in some capacity. Is it helpful? Did it help? I don't know that it helped, because it seems like it stopped raining now. <laughs> oh, the rain is temporary, apparently. And any benefit that it applied, assuredly so as well. We get closer to it, it's, it's still raining over here. Something. Okay, uh, more climbable section. Which I suppose is, is cause for optimism in some regard. If we can move up, we could do anything. Alright? Let's go this way first. Go left for LP. And get over there! My goodness, barely! Barely, barely, barely. So if we had gone to the right, we that's the way we need to go. Okay. Well, this gives us a treasure, which is not a treasure. I really, I want real treasure, all right? I don't want this false treasure stuff, all right? I want weaponry. I want armor. I want to slither on down the side of this moist rock again, because apparently that's what I'm into. Let's get up here. Woo-wee. I have half a mind to get greedy, but look at that. I didn't even get greedy, and I still got shoved off the side. You can... Oh. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Mmm, you almost got me again, huh? We Get there, my god! One more here. I might be too late. Oh, it was very close. This is gonna be close, golly gee williger. Look at my hands sweat. Not the only moisture around here out of your faces, is it? Push this, just in case we need to come back. Would've been nice if that was there to begin with. We would've avoided all this, but hey, whatever. Oh! Oh, look at this. The water is going uphill. Up. Is, is it a hill? I guess it's going up. Up wall. <laughs> Vertically, completely up. And I guess that's probably what we needed. Because if it were to be flowing uh, the standard direction, a.k.a. with the flow of gravity, we'd just be running into that crap. But now we go on upstairs to something over here. It doesn't push us all the way into that. Okay. Hmm. Oh, stones. Does this obstruct the flow of water? Uh, no. Not at all. Very strange. Let's move that one over. Looks like that's going to help us in some capacity. Wow. Can't cross there. <laughs> we can cross here, though. And go around. And this, I guess closing that off, uh, that little gap is going to be what allows us to get over there and get the chest, which is probably gonna be, what, an herb or something? At this point, I'm, I'm jaded, okay? I know it's not gonna be anything uh, really impactful. It'll be something worth using at some point, sure, but nothing of any real significance. Yeah, an oil drop. That's cool. We have a few of those, right? We have at least one. Now, the game won't even let you. I was gonna say, what if we went down? The game will not. It's like, ah, no, you ain't doing that, you sick fool. <laughs> you got a death wish, man? You're trying to run down waterfalls? Uh-uh. You can't stay in here. I'm gonna go to the left first, because it, you know, LP. And there was a, a water that we should probably freeze. But I'm going to explore the extent of this passageway first. Wow, we didn't kill either of them in one turn. It's about healing time, too. Uh, double up in the same way that you all did last time. There we go, very good. And that levels up Jenna to 24. I think I beat Golden Sun 1 where everyone was like level 30. And I don't feel like we're... Are we close to the end? Oh, look at this. I'm gonna freeze these guys too. Because we are closing in on 30. We are... I mean, we're 80% the way to 30. So... I don't know. I don't know. But this game, as I understand it, Golden Sun The Lost Age is longer than the first Golden Sun. So maybe that's not the case, but 
we're making progress, no doubt. And the enemies are, are pacing, too. It's not like we're getting OP or anything by garnering these levels. So we have access to another treasure chest, which, God knows, probably not anything substantial. But, you know, like adventure and all that, my instincts, I can't ignore it. So get up here. Let's grab this baby. Let's do a battle right on top of the friggin' th What a spot to fight, huh, guys? Is this what you're into? How we all how we all here? The fairies can fly. Thomas, yeah, I see you. But the big bird, the big chicken, he's just teetering. Good shot, Jenna. Well done. And that still didn't kill it, even combined with the 91 from Felix. That was like 250 damage almost. I was sick. Uh, sure. Don't move, Sheba. Great. Go to sleep anyways. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Aren't you useless? All right. One more fairy. Don't you do it. Don't you do it, you demented little toddler. Get out of here. It, 582. All right, what do we get? Mm, we, yeah, we can open the inventory. And this chest hat. Ah! The mist saber. Look at that. It is something. It's worse. Worse than whatever Jenna's using. But better than Felix and Piers. Way better than whatever Felix is using. All right, let's trade, buddy. Trade for that disc axe. Wow. 270 something? That's beautiful. Unleashes searing fog. Now, can anyone else equip this that will be worth using? No. Okay. So Felix, once again, regains his position as the strongest member of the party with the acquisition of that saber. Uh, I try my best to keep everyone perfectly balanced. But goodness gracious, that's just amazing. We could hop this, can't we? Nope. No, we cannot. <laughs> hey, and look at this. An opportunity to test it out. Let's have Felix and I don't know who's the weakest. I think it might be Sheba. Felix and Sheba go on the rock to the left. Let's we'll see what that does. Searing fog. Look at that. We got it right off the bat. Not enough to kill it still. Wow. It seems that it just lends more credence to it, as I was saying, that we are not opianizing ourselves. Golly gee, Sheba. You're so very helpful. Let's get it, Felix. Perfect. And we could jump down. Oh, that just goes back. I was say we could slide down something. Doesn't seem like that's actually anything that I have the slightest amount of interest in. I see another stone to the left. But what is what is this right here? Platform. It calls to me. Oh, this is back where we were. Put on the other side. And another ability to slide down. Perhaps we should make it rain on the stone first and something will change down here. I'd have to imagine... That that's gonna be, you know, the case. <laughs> Something's gonna happen. I don't know if that means the water level is gonna rise or it's gonna rain. The rain's gonna rain upside down. I don't know. Something's gonna happen. Let's see what happens. Do it now, Pierce. <laughs> Douse this boy. Very good. Thank you. And it rains. But what else? It emanates a fell juice that dribbles on into the pond below. Meaning what? Do we follow that? Do we just go down this? New. No. Okay. Well, then we go down here. Uh, can we... Ah, sure, whatever, you friggin' man of war. I'm gonna mana slap you, okay, with my sword. You thing. Oh, you willicker. I guess we can just hop out onto the platforms and then see... What the, what the sparkles are. Go down here, right? Oh, we can hop into it and drown. Aqua Rock. We're inside it. Okay, that was the entrance to the dungeon. <laughs> Synergy Stone. Don't need it just yet. We've got relatively full PP and full HP. We'll let that sit there for a while. I see another stone to the right, which we cannot access. Can't go this way either. There's a chest. Uh, interesting, too, on the tablets or these little stone markers, there are what seem to be a pattern. Right? You see that the one immediately to the left that we were just on has a right angle that goes from left to, to down. And all the way to the left of that, there's one, and even south of that, there's another. And then here's one that's horizontal. Hmm. Okay, I don't think any of those are the direction to go. We can only go this way. Going south would do nothing. So we'll take the one door that we can access. We'll, we'll go to the first door right here. Hmm. What happens if we, we do that? We... We just move these over. Uh, can you, can you come here? Thank you. So we actually want those to be 
like this, so that we can access this chest. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't feel like it would, but I guess that air emanating from the cracks would push us off the ledge. It doesn't seem like it's pushing out far enough to do so. Got a vial. Vials are good. We have several of them that we have not used, but undoubtedly as enemies become stronger and as we do as well, our HP will only increase, therefore our HP needs will also increase, aka the need for the hundreds of HP replenished by the vial. It'd be great to have in our inventory. Can we continue on, or was that all there was here? I can't imagine... That was, yep, I say, there's no way that this is only a vial. Uh, sure. I see a log, I see a face, the burrito, it craves it, get in there. Now, was that the alternate way right here? Because we definitely did miss a section where we could have gone. Okay, world wouldn't know, but this would be a great time to hotkey Frost. Either Frost or Douse is going to get a lot of action here. You can already tell. So, for the time being, Frost it is, just because we have a guaranteed three we'll have here. And then we'll see. If we have to, you know, come across uh, some guaranteed douse actions, then we'll swap that over. But, this looks good to me. It's going to provide us access deeper. I'm curious about what we left behind. Very curious about what we left behind. But, undoubtedly, we will get an opportunity to go back, check it out. Probably nothing, really. I'll just continue on this way. Very linear, which I can appreciate. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Was that, was that where we came from? No. No, we've got multiple choices now. Giant chickens, stop that. Thomas, no. Stop putting us to sleep. All right, thank you. Everyone's had the requisite amount of caffeine to avoid his uh, uh, temptatious sleep calls. We've got to actually kill him. So he doesn't do it again. Good night. Good night. Down we go. Could have gone up. We can, hmm, hmm. We're moving and shaking. There's too many, too many sprawling spider webs of directions that we could go through. All right. If we're gonna hop across a pond, though, that feels significant to me. So I'm gonna come back here and check out the northern exit. Heat Mirage, 120. Look at that. So pretty much everyone can do over a hundred now with their physical attacks, provided they get a critical hit, which is super cool. So this brings us here. Okay. And this brings us back to this... Oh. Maybe we should douse this. Let's let's douse it up. Why not? We've got access to it now. We may as well. Oh god, we're fighting something on the current. So this is, I guess, actioning upon those tiles that had the direction. Oh, we can walk on it. Oh, we can walk on it. Look at that. So this also gives us the ability to go back to this thing, because I want to I see what it is I missed. <laughs> now we can see! That's handy. We've got a number of directions. What did we miss? We missed... absolutely friggin lutely nothing Great. Well, at least we could check that off. Now, you better still be juicy out here. Okay, I heard, I heard the juice noise, right? That wasn't the de-juicing, was it? No. The juice flows. Perfect. Which means that we can go this way. And before we go that direction all the way, I errantly thought that it wasn't the way to go. Apparently it was. We gotta go back to where we hopped across that little tablet thing. Jiminy Christmas. Uh, it's nice, I will say. Very nice that we are making progress. We're doing something. It doesn't feel like we're lacking a synergy here. Uh, much like the ankle ruins. Here, we, we seemingly just need douse and freeze. And everything else will bow to our knees. Or get bow on their knees. So there will be knees, okay? There will be knees in some capacity. As for us, well, we've got eight of those, and that's exactly enough to level Sheba up to 94! Beautiful. 230 coins. Now, what does this door have? Oh, this is the chest. Look at that. I should have come here first. Some crystal powder, huh? What are we doing with that, huh? We got the crystal powder, man. We got... <laughs> oh, that's why they're not going to sleep so easily, huh? Jenna's got the secret stash. Merry really Christmas. It's illicit. All right. Back out to the main room. Crystal powder in tow. We can uh, head out there and to the northwest we will go. Seemingly that's the only direction we can go, really. <laughs> and I 
have mentioned it ad nauseum. I'm going to continue to mention it. I hope there's a boss. I hope there's a big demon at the end of this that wants to be upset that we ruined all his scheming. Uh, nothing else here. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. No, it doesn't seem like I did. And this... Well, never mind. I'll say this is the final part of this place. It might continue to sprawl on even more. And judging by the, the way that the path forks like that, here, giving us options to, to come up here, assuredly is the case. Um, really, can't even go a little bit. All right, Satan, whatever. I'm going this way. No, not that way. This way. And then we'll wrap around, and presumably this will allow us access over there to move that. Yes, indeed. Now, what... Why would I want to do anything other than push it, is what I'm wondering here. You know, like, we could pull it and put it in front of this, but then why? I don't know. Either which way, we're here now, so yay! <laughs> Onward and roundward, huh? Look at that. Big chicken. They're propagating. This is where McDonald's gets the source for their nuggets. Bunch of ground-up rocks. Disgusting. Oop, 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 oop. So what do we douse first? We douse this guy first, because he looks thirsty. And it would be it would be rude of me to deny the man his thirst. There we go. Maybe I should have climbed down there. Uh definitely I should have climbed down there, but let's let's see this, because this is gonna do something. It may not do anything that we need it to, because yeah, the current does not connect all the way. We needed to push that guy over there. Uh one over to the right. Pretty simple. Not necessarily the, the craziest puzzle I've ever seen. Thankfully, the rooms do reset as well upon exit. I suppose I should make sure that's the case. Mm, no, I think I might be down one. Yeah, that looks right to me. <laughs> uh, all right, now let us do the douse. The D, the D. Double D? D, d do douse? The douseulating? Perfect. And that... that gotta be right on the money, I'd have to imagine. If it's slightly off, I'll be very disappointed. I might cry. Nope, we're good. Perfect. Again, affording us access to the next portion. More, more water hopping. Doing a lot of jumping over water. This whole room was very vacant. It's a completely vacant corridor there. Fascinating. Uh, okay. Pie. What is up? Virago and Ghost Mage. You've been learning the arcane arts, I see there, hmm? We've progressed to a point where we can eliminate these guys in one turn, which is great. Hey! I know you. Good to see you, buddy. Apparently we are not quite as close to the end here as I thought, because we still have to get to that whole thing. I'll do some hoppage here. We can only go to the left. And then, again, the linearity. It's nice. It, it, it pushes you in the direction that it wants you to go. And it <laughs> removes all semblance of choice. Now, we could choose to walk down that and get washed away. And, wow. Maybe we want to. What are these guys? The sea dragon and the lizard fighter. They look huge and strong. Everyone attack one at a time. Yeah, it took all four of us to kill the sea dragon. Uh, the lizard fighter didn't do all that much damage. 17? But he had a solid amount of HP, taking three of us to eliminate him. Hmm. So, I can just... Oh, I can't. I You need to come down from the top. I see. It's very clever. Very clever, indeed. So we go down the top, then we can come through. I see, I see. I come on, get that, that chest. I don't think I can get it, though, from here. There, I noticed that there were some, some vertical burritos on the floor below. Perhaps we have to go down there first and move those, and then we can do, we can do some hop, skip, and a jump in action. I'll have to double check that here. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening here. So we gotta fall to this, gas move, push that over, boom. And that applies, or affords, excuse me. Yes, applies access. No. Chest, what do we got? Another tear stone. Hey, that's actually really good because that means Something, right? We we got yesterday the the circlet out of one of those. We have another one cooking back at the blacksmith. We gotta go grab that from him and see what exactly he's doing with it. Um 
we can go a number of directions here. And I hate it. it. Gives me much indigestion. Oh no, I didn't mean to attack Rock. We all must attack the Sea Dragon. It takes all of our powers. Well, uh, unless we critical. Critical might do it. Yep, there we go. Felix is defending. And then this dude's life is ending. Rest in peace, Mr. Rock. So there's a chest. It doesn't seem like a chest we can access. We can go to the left here. Why not? Left for LP. Let's see what we got over here. We have a place devoid of moisture. Looks like it, it wants to be filled with water, and these things want to be jumped upon. Oh, hi. Look at this guy. <laughs> he thirsts. He's so thirsty, bro. He requires the liquid inside of his head because everyone knows that that's the best method of hydration. What? Taking a drink of water? Getting an IV? No! Sprinkle some water on top of your head like you're a friggin' Pikmin. Then you'll really know the name of hydration. Uh, can't go that way. We can go this way. This place is sprawling. I don't like it. Well, I do like it, but it's it's giving me pause. This needs to move here, right? As we hop, hop, hop. Uh, would that work? I mean, really, it could go either. If we pushed it... No, no, it could only go this way, actually. Excuse me. Well, hold the phone, actually. It can go the one direction for the chest, and then it has to go another. So where it's at presently will afford us access to the chest, which is good. We'll, we'll take that and go. But then we'll have to leave, reset the room, and push it all the way to the left in order to get access to the uh, the doorway there. Fascinating. Cool. Well, hey, I mean, we're, we're guarding lots of treasure and running out of inventory space, too. I hope we can actually grab this. Water of life. Heck yeah. Finally, man. It's been so long since we had any of that. I don't think we've had any of it in this playthrough. If you're not familiar, Water of Life will revive a party member, and it doesn't fail like we saw our Ginny do uh, with Piers in Kabombo, or Gabomba, inside that big boy. So, that's cool. Uh, we definitely will need a number of those, I'd have to imagine, going forward, particularly as the game gets closer and closer to its penultimate finale, where we will, no doubt, battle some combination of Alex and those other green and pink people that were very rude. So... We'll have to be, be healing. Hey, we're back in this place. Look at that. Now we can move this over. Beautiful. And you continue forth. We definitely have bypassed some, some things, I guess, in that main room. But we're doing stuff. We're, we're pushing burritos into holes. Sounds like a wild Taco Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Settle on there, my friend. And I think that's just a backtrack way. No, that, I mean, it, it could be. Let's check this out real quick. What is this? Um, not a backtrack, but someplace we have yet to discover in some place that we are, as of yet, incapable of actually doing anything inside of. <laughs> so it won't linger around here too terribly much longer. Eliminate this guy. P please go, Mr. Lizzie. Thank you. Very good. We've got to be closing in on another level. We are closing in, however, on another heal session, too. Head up this way, and tightrope walking. Oh, that's right. We passed underneath this on that very slender walkway just below us now. It's all coming full circle. Very good. The dungeon design here in this game is very nice. It's a lot of fun. I do enjoy it. That's... Peculiar. There's a missing thing there. We'll go south. We could have continued on to the right, which may have been all right, but it looks like we have another one of these puzzles. I don't... What do we... Oh. Oh, this is a big puzzle. We're going to take all of our brain cells to figure this one out next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, please consider doing anything at all as long as you come back again tomorrow. <laughs>